continue with time series. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, uh, two graphs, two time series graph. This is the uh, temperature and this is the month. Okay, so this is the maximum. So the top graph is for the maximum. You can see the uh, key here, and the minimum is the bottom graph. Okay, so this is the average monthly. It's the average monthly maximum, and this is the average monthly minimum of each month. Okay, so this is the monthly maximum, average monthly maximum, and the average monthly minimum. And this is for uh, 7, 8, and 9. So this is from January. This is the maximum. So how do you read this? Let's read the first graph. So this is the maximum of 25, average maximum of January 07, which is 25 degrees. And then this is a 27 degrees and so on. So first, to understand the time series, it's always good to divide this into so the years. Okay, so this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this is December. So let me draw a line here. Okay, so this is the first year. Again, January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this is the second year, and this is the third year. So first, uh, let let us read this. Okay, so let me slightly move this. So these are the three years. So this is 2007. This is 2007, 2008, and 2009. So. The best way or one of the ways to read a time series graph is to look at the maximum and minimums. So let's look at the maximum. So this is your maximum. So roughly these are to your maximum. So this is your maximum. Okay, so there's a trend here. So February, March is your maximum here. Okay, so this is January, February, March, January, February, March. So here you can say Feb, March is your maximum. Okay, and again, you have the same, almost the same temperature in February, March, the next year. And this is again February, March. So, from looking at maximum, you can make a conclusion that the temp maximum temperature is, over this three-year period, is almost constant. It is not changing. If you, same way, if you look at the minimums, if you look at the minimum, so this is the minimum, it's also pretty constant. So uh, minimum of maximum, okay? This is the minimum of maximum. So your maximum temperature varies between, say, 27 degrees. So let me write this. We're talking about the maximum. So maximum varies between, this is 27 degrees to this is around 21 degrees. So your maximum varies between 21 and 27. Okay, and what about minimum? The same thing, uh, the minimum is between, so this is your maximum of minimum. Okay, this is a bit com confusing. So this is the maximum of minimum temperature, which is around, say, 14 degrees, and this is around 10 degrees. Okay, so this is 10 degrees, and 10 degrees centigrade, and this is 14 degrees. So again, this is again around 14 and 10. So here, yeah, one thing that you can see is, over a long period of time, the maximum and the minimum almost remains the same. Okay, so you can say the minimum is between 10 to 15. Okay, and your maximum is between, say, 20 to 27. Okay, that's one thing that you can see. First, always read it. So overall trend, it is remaining constant. Okay, so there is a, uh, is there a general pattern? Yes uh, and no. Okay, so here you can say there are two peaks here. For each year, there are two peaks. So this is one peak and this is the shorter, uh, this is a smaller peak. And there is one, uh, this is the trough. This is called the trough. This is called the trough, and this is called the peak. Okay, so there are seemingly two peaks in each year. So in 
Nairobi, there are two uh, the two peaks each year, and uh, let's look at now Rome. Okay, so now this is the the same thing for Rome. So let me draw the line. Okay, so this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this is December. December. So let me draw a dotted line here, highlight it, and drop it down. So this is December. So let me draw one more dotted line here, yeah, November and December, somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so these are the three years. So if you look at the average monthly temperature, this is a monthly average temperatures of Rome. So here, yeah, again, there's clear trend here. Yeah? It's very, uh, you can see a very clear trend here. Yeah? This is a maximum. Okay, so maximum is almost constant. Can you see? And your minimum is also constant. Okay, now what is the difference between maximum and minimum? Okay, so let's go back to this. If you look at the difference, so on an average, so let us take an average of this minimum. The average would be how much? This is around 12 degrees centigrade. Okay, and here this is between 20 and 27, which would be how much? Uh, 20 plus 27 is 20 plus 27. Let's do an average here, which is 54. Sorry, 47. Okay, 47 divided by 2 is 23.5. So this is around 23.5, roughly, okay, or 23 degrees. So the difference between maximum and minimum, if you take again the average of the average, the difference is about how much? This is about 12 degrees, isn't it? So the difference, so let me write here. So difference between max and minimum, maximum and minimum is about 12 degrees centigrade is about these decisions or these readings will help you to make some very good conclusions that's why we are spending time here and if you look at the max uh, if the if you took the take the average of this of minimum would be somewhere here so this is around 10 degrees here and this would be 20 degrees okay so here you can say the average difference between maximum and minimum, maximum and minimum is about 10 degrees centigrade, is about 10 degrees centigrade. Okay, so let's, uh, so this is what the question is. Richard wants to move overseas to a warmer city. That's his goal. He would like to move either to Rome or Nairobi. Okay, the graph on page eight, this is the graph that we're talking about shows the monthly average minimum and maximum temperatures of each city for three years from 2007 to 2009. Now this is what Richard has decided. Richard wants, decides to move to Rome because he thinks the temperature in Rome is higher than the temperature in Nairobi. So Rome is warmer. The maximum temperature in Rome peaks every year, which is more pleasant to live in. So that's the second decision. The temperature in Rome is less variable over the year, so this is more pleasant. The fourth decision is the temperature appears to be rising in Rome, so it will get warmer in future. There is less, less difference between the maximum and minimum temperatures in Rome, so it will be more comfortable. So these are his decisions, and that's made him to decide to go to Rome because he wants to go to a warmer city. Okay, so that's his goal, to move to a warmer city. So the first question, is Richard correct to believe that the temperature in Rome is higher than the temperature in Nairobi? So Rome is warmer. Justify your answer. So let's go back. So yeah, in Rome, though you have got a maximum, if you look at the maximum, is about, say, 28 degrees here, okay? Here it's say 27 degrees, and here you got again about 27 degrees. 
and here the maximum is 27 this is 26 and this is also 26 okay so if you only look at one year this is max this is greater than 27 okay but if you look at if you look at the maximum temp average maximum temperature of Nairobi it is generally much warmer because here yeah, the temperature is between the maximum average monthly temperature is between 20 and 27 okay so this is you can say average so let me write here average monthly average monthly maximum temperature is between which to is between 20 and say 28 is between 20 and 28 whereas in Rome it is between say 12 and 28 so that in this case is between 12 and 28 okay so on and generally Nairobi is warmer because your maximum temperature can also go around this is around 12 degrees so the maximum temperature is between 12 and 28 okay so this if you look at this part of the graph so these these months are co cooler okay so if you look at these months the maximum temperatures this is what we're talking about these months are less than the minimum maximum temperature of Nairobi so here you can say no generally no generally generally Nairobi Nairobi is warmer is warmer because average uh, monthly monthly maximum temperature in Nairobi I'll write only n is between what did we write it is between uh, is between that it is between 20 and 28 okay is between is between in Nairobi is between 20 to 28 degrees whereas in in Rome it is between 12 and 12 to 28 so yeah from this you can make a conclusion that what Richard thought that Rome is warmer is not right okay I want you to read the next question comment on how maximum and minimum temperature in the two cities vary over a year I'll come back uh, in my next video.